guy was saying about a man should be pro, like he should be a pro at being a husband. And he's saying you should be proactive, a provider and a protector. He says as proactive, it's the opposite of passivity. being involved in every aspect of family. I thought that was good. Now, he gave a different spin on provider because men only look at this financially. He says, <laughs> provider, provide ourselves, our time, and provide a godly example. And then he says, as protector, not just physically, because when we think of protector, we always think of knocking somebody out because they looked at our wife, right? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> He says, protect spiritually, mentally, and emotionally for your family. So I thought those were pretty I like good. That's, that's, that's clever. Yeah, right? So there's other ways that men can provide. I think financially you can, but there's other ways. And, and sometimes I believe we can be um, bankrupt in some other areas outside of finances. If, if you know what I'm saying, like bankrupt mentally or emotionally. Yeah, like emotionally. And... But at the end of the day, uh, for a lot of uh, the understanding is that the other things are good, but financial support supersedes most of those other qualities, you know, a lot of time. Maybe like, even if you could, you know, you probably, you might, Anything you just really man, it all comes down to a lot, a lot of mate, mate selection. And honestly, when I was thinking about this before we jumped on to talk about this, it was like, man, you just gotta pick somebody that really understands. Like y'all gotta have the same understanding of that, because if not, it's always gonna be some type of you mean, you know, because uh, whatever you lead with is what. It was like, cause if you're talking just money wise, there's an old saying, he who has the gold makes the rules, you know? So if that's the case, then it's like, shut up. Like, you know, like I got the more money than you, either way it goes. And when I lose money, then I lose position kind of. It's like a contingency almost. Like you, you don't even feel that way unless it's a job. Only jobs I know that are performance based like that to where you got to meet a certain number to qualify at this level. If not, you, you lose that ranking or title. And hey, if you operate like that, that's how you is. But like, if, if not, that's kind of, that's a stressful relationship, I think. You know, you gotta not, if you lead in with your wallet, then, you know, that, that that's uh, to me, that I don't agree with that philosophy. You know, I think I just stressful, I think, um, you, with the head of household thing, you, you, you mentioned it, so I'm gonna kind of chime in on it because you kind of said it. But with the alpha male, right? Like mm -hmm. uh, alpha male, like people, they say they want an alpha male, and they never say they're an alpha woman. But even when you look at an alpha woman, alpha male, they don't compete with each other. They compete within a within a species in the sense of and not species, they gender. Like if you got an alpha woman, she's not trying to fight the husband for alpha male position. She fighting off the other women to be the alpha male. She ain't fighting her own alpha dude. So I think there's just this weird way of thinking. Like, if you are alpha woman, you ain't you you ain't bickering with the alpha male. They cool. They they don't want to court like the alpha male. They fighting other contenders. They ain't fighting for that. They, they, there's two positions there. It's alpha woman, alpha male. Like the, uh, that that's the confusion. So now we kind of bleed into it. So I apologize, but they they do that. That's when you you, you they're not fighting the, al the the alpha female. Ain't fighting the alpha woman. She's fighting the other women to be the alpha woman, not the guy. So they both, they're the head of their both, they're both heads of their field. Like, so if we struggling for power, who's, who's the enemy? Like, you know, we fighting each other. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think a lot of that come from, that's good. I think a lot of that comes from faulty mindsets, culture, society. And once we get married, we have to, because I did a video not too long ago about unsaid expectations. And we get into these relationships and we get married just assuming that our spouse is supposed to know what's supposed to happen. Yes, sir. Absolutely. So we spend a lot of years trying to um, unearth faulty mindsets. 
And a lot of things that we're fighting when we're fighting against each other, we should be fighting against those things that's trying to destroy us. But yeah. we spend so much internal internal fighting because of the way we were raised. Uh, and then mm-hmm. what does that look like in your home opposed to everybody else's home? Because we have the comparison thing. We talked about that before, too. So it's one of those things where um, being head of household, and like you said, it depends on who you're with. That's huge. Because if you have that mindset of, we gonna make we gonna make this work then i mean it might have to be some uneasy conversations and stuff like that but at the end of the day we have a common goal yeah yeah like it's it's the we part is it, and as a leader it's like do you want to do you want to do your way just for the sake of doing your way or do you want to do it because it's beneficial you know like to everybody like if like if you're the head of any group like you know, your wife, your family, your, and y'all got a conflict or there's different paths y'all could take. Are you are you open to outside suggestions? And then if that idea didn't come from you, but it's a better idea, are you willing to, to keep it pushing for it? Or are you like, well, we gonna do my idea because I came up with the idea. You know, it's like, man, like, cause you can have a, it's not biology, it's, psychology at the end of the day right if you believe is like a, a head of household because you a man you automatically the head and if you're the woman you're secondary or however you treat it but if you ain't a leader in general like you know you ain't gonna you ain't gonna be able to lead your house you know like john maxwell said leadership's influence right so you shouldn't even be tripping on man i think the coolest heads of the households ain't got to flex it you know they just are you know you just the head like you know you are if if my head know it's a head. You know, my head ain't confused. My head on my body right now know it's a head. Like, it ain't no argument. So I think if you the head, like, you cool. Like, you know, you understand that. Yeah, if you, yeah. yeah. And and I was once told that if you have to stand on the on your kitchen table and tell everybody that you're the head, you're probably not. Hey man, for sure. <laughs> the same with a woman. Like I, I don't know, I don't know what the I forgot what lady said the quote, but she said it's a woman that said it. I think she was the wife of a president or something. But she said power is like being a lady or something. She's like if you have to convince people you are, you probably not. Like, it, it, and I, I'm gonna look it up. I'm gonna find it. Like, but she said it. it was a woman that said it too. And I'm like, damn, she, she that's right because. We, we we battling over these semantics and words and positions where we just need to be coming together trying to make this thing work. Like, what, what are we trying to do here? What's our... Mm-hmm. And you know, like having a mission statement, like you said in previous videos, right? Like, if you have a mission statement, man, it's just about trying to get the mission complete. 